So you have aluminum here, aluminum here. It's just kind of real thin, almost aluminum foil. You could easily reproduce this with a piece of PVC and aluminum foil. But in the bottom, there's an actual uh, little cap down there of, of metal, aluminum, to make the connection to the aluminum on the sides. And then, of course, it makes the connection with a bolt that goes all the way through it on the bottom. And then the little wire brings it right to that, that nodule right there, that node. Okay, so that you can hook up to it later. So the importance of this spring, if you can see, it's just a spring. It goes down and it has to touch into the bottom. And then this is a sharp point of the wire. And if you look inside the cap, it's just a hole so that as long as the wire touches this bar right here, then you have good continuity. So just make sure it touches it. You know, you can feel that it touches it before you push it back down on there. And just push it down in, make sure it snaps good. It's under a little bit of pressure, not much. And then you can just uh, turn the whole thing. And you want to make sure that it, that it goes all the way over without touching this wheel right here so that you, you, know, you don't get any drag coefficients either. Anyway, that's how both cylinders are made and that's how it works. So you have a static charge build up on the surface that gets transferred into these bars and when it gets too big then they finally release and basically this is how it works. So right there is probably a good place to turn out the lights. You can see it. I'll do it a few times with the lights on. See, it's hard to see in the video. It's cracking and popping. There's little arcs jumping off. Uh, but I'll turn the lights off and you'll see it better. Now, when it's far away like that, it'll do a big pop. But if you get it closer, it'll actually do just more of a small little uh, little trickle of, of electricity. So that's still just little snaps and pops. So let me turn off this music so that you can hear it, you can see and hear it at the same time, it's kind of hard to see it in that part of the video, I'm trying to turn it just right, okay, if you get it real close, it'll, it'll, uh, you can hear it tick, 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 okay, and then I've noticed that you can always touch these together to, to ground it, each other out so that you don't accidentally touch this because it, it'll shock you really good. Anyways, uh, these are nice because they twist, and then you can, you know, twist them tight to where you want to keep them. So it's really nice. It's a really pretty nice little setup. You got little screws here for it to be a cheap model. It's it's a really good, well built system. I think they're about fifty bucks on eBay. Most well, they're different prices, but they're all the same. They come mostly from China. So if you see someone that's got one cheaper, cheap shipping, get it. Uh, you should be able to get them for about fifty bucks if you want one. They got some fancy models and all that. Okay, so one little thing I want to show you is that if you do if you do release this uh, this little bar here, you can actually you can actually make a gap a little gap down here with this bar. And if you set a little gap on it and then move these at a certain distance you can see it. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can see it. If you can see it. I don't know if you can see that, but if you can hear it, just make it more of a steady stream. Sometimes you can even get it really far apart and get a really good steady stream going if you get that gap just right. Um, it's doing it right now. There smells really good. And if you move them closer, it usually will discharge because right now these are charged up. When you move it closer, it got the, and then they'll even do it again if you. So it's not really discharged until you touch them together, okay. But if you get this little gap right down here at the bottom, and then this one up the top, you can get it going pretty good with the, you know, just a little steady stream instead of the, the popping. Right there is pretty good one. Get it kicking. Try to put it in. The, you can see it in the. I don't know if it's be better to turn it this way, maybe. 
so you can see it with the darker background. Okay, so I'll turn the light out now so you can see see the arc. So see, it's more of a steady stream. Yeah. Clicking noise. And that's with uh, having made the gap down at the bottom, you know, down on the bottom. So I'm going to touch them together. And with this, I notice when this bar is not a part, when you have an opening here and an opening here, the, it doesn't make the big pops as much. It makes slower drains, and that's one way you can kind of control how much, how much actually gets, how much actually uh, arcing you get as far as large quantities or small quantities. If you want to do a project where you charge batteries or, you know, store this some other way besides in these two capacitors. So I'm going to put this back together down on the bottom. This little plate connector and then I'll put these all a little bit apart so you can see it. As you can see it makes a cute little parking. So if you put them farther apart. see as you move them close And to show you how to hold a charge, if you turn it just about all that much, not much at all, and then move them closer together, they'll discharge. Turn it a little bit more. A lot of, probably still even a little more if you touch them. So, anyway, that's how it works. And that's a lot of power being generated, a lot of electricity, I should say, not necessarily a lot of power, you know, being generated from such a simple little amount of work. You can see it's not like I have to struggle, you know, you don't have to crank it. You literally, literally if it wasn't for some of this natural friction, you know, it's just, I'm just using a finger and a thumb and, you know, it's just you can almost do it. And that is the Wimshurst generator. There's a lot of information on it. I think it's W-I-M-S-H-U-R-S-T if you want to see more on it. There's plenty of different, nicer models, big fancy models of these on YouTube, and there's a lot of information on it. I guess give it a look.